Hi, this is Melissa. I'm gonna demonstrate how to remove your Jamberry nail wraps. So basically, I'm using um, nail polish remover. This one happens to be 100% acetone. You can use regular nail polish remover. Put it in a bowl. So I have my finger in here for about 20 seconds or less, um, eh, about 10, 20 seconds, give or take. And I have this um, toothpick thingamajig that I'm using and I use a string right here okay as you can see it started lifting a little bit um, after I stuck it in there so I'm going to place this like that and work it through this gives you a nice clean lift I'm also going to show you another way just in case you don't want to use these and voila, off just like that. I'm gonna take one more off. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. <clears throat> um, while we're doing this, let me go ahead and show you this uh, Jamberry cuticle nail oil. It smells like berries. Use this for your cuticles to keep them nice and from getting dry. Okay, now I can also use my finger, my finger now if you have long nails. The toothpick thing is for those that have short nails and can't really do this. And it just lifts and right off, nice and clean. Easy peasy. That, now I'm going to go ahead and show you a demonstration on how to place your Jamberry nails. I'm also going to be using my Jamberry mini heater that is only $19 and worth every penny. It's on right now, can't even hear it. Um, I love this thing for many reasons. One, because it's quiet. Two, it doesn't blow my jam away. Your blow dryer might, but it works just as fine. Okay, first you have to prepare your nails. Um, I do have three done. I'm using um, sugar and spice with my diamond dust sparkle. Very pretty together. You can mix and match all these jam berries. That's what I like about it. But first thing you're going to go ahead and do is you need to push back your cuticles. Okay. Push back your cuticles. You can use um, the Jamboree Prep Nail, which is basically like an alcohol swap wipe. Alcohol cotton ball. Just, uh, you know, get everything off of your nail, any kind of um, oils or anything like that. I want to put them in front of my heater just so that way they can dry off. I already know my nail size, so this is going to be easy for me, but once you start to get down to knowing yours, you'll know exactly which one to go to. Um, one sheet is good enough for two manicures and two pedicures. I actually use this one for this finger right here, but this and the, this finger are the same size, so I'm just going to use the other side. This is actually too long, so I'm not going to use it all because I can also use these as accents later on. Something that you can learn to do and play with. So I just save that there for another little project that I may want to do. Okay, now I have the jam berry right here. This is the adhesive side, the side that goes up to show on my nail. Adhesive side is the side that gets heated. You see how it bends? It doesn't even have to be there that long. That means it is activated and soft. And then I just push my jamboree wrap on. Smooth it out. If you feel like um, it's not sticking correctly because you've taken too long or something like that, all you have to do is just reactivate it 
by sticking your finger back in some heat. Just like that. And push down on it some more. Get all the wrinkles out. These metallics are actually probably the harder ones to put on. So you get to see it's still pretty easy. Okay. A technique that I learned is with the paper bag and your ends, you uh, put your, I mean not paper bag, plastic sandwich bag, you put it on your finger, nice and tight, bring the tip down right there so we can seal it. I don't know why, but this does seem to work a little bit better. So, um, that's all done. Now you're gonna file the end off, but wait until it's completely dry. I've left this one on to show you. It's completely, not dry, cooled down. Cause you don't wanna do it while it's um, still heated because then the, uh, you know, the glue is still um, soft. Then you just get your file. File in a downward motion. Not up and down, not side to side. Down ways. the end. Always in a downward motion. I'm going to do this one for you. This one's ready to go. Now these are nails. These are, um, this is a demonstration on long nails. My daughter has short nails. She's actually a biter. She bites her nails. So these are great too for if you're a nail biter. Um, it'll stop you from biting your nails and um, it doesn't matter how short your nails are these will work and so if, like I said if you're a nail biter and you feel like oh these aren't gonna work on me right now it's the best thing for you actually okay these are my jams I got one more to put on on this hand and I gotta work on my other hand I'm getting ready to do my daughter's Jamboree nails. She has short nails and is a nail biter, as you can see. I've done two nails just to um, get a head start. We're doing her nails with Vintage Chic and Taupe Hoka. Just a little quick thing before I do her nails. There's a little trick that I want to show you real quick. It's with the tape if you have funky nails, or this is actually what I do for my toenails because um, these are the ones down here for your pedicure. That's two pedicures down there. And the best way to do that is put a piece of tape on your fingernail, get a pen or a Sharpie, this might not work. You draw around your nail bed, just like that. Take it off, put it on the back side, and then you just cut, okay? So, that's how you do that. That's just a little trick there for you to know, doing her this next one in um, Vintage Chick. So, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to see where her fingers are at see which one best goes with her fingernail. She's got very, very short nails, so I don't need much of this. When you don't need much and you have very, very short nails, um, you're gonna have some left over in the middle, and that's where that tape trick will work really good, and you can get the most out of your jam berries and get more than two manicures. So, um, I can't do that because I have long nails. She'll be able to do that for a minute. Again, she's a nail biter, so this is gonna help her as well. Um, we'll do an after video of what how her nails have grown out to give you an idea. 
I've already prepped, sorry, I've already prepped her nails and I pushed back her cuticles already. So don't forget to do that. That's very important. Um, if you don't prep your nails and get rid of any kind of um, oils or anything like that, that'll cause the adhesive, of course, to start lifting. And um, you want to push back your cuticles as far as possible. So that way, or not as far as possible, don't hurt yourself, but you know, make sure you push them back so that way you um, can put it back there as far as possible because, you know, with growth and all that other good stuff, you want your jam, you want to get the most out of your jams. Okay, put her now on the heat a little bit and um, kind of go around, around the edges, around the cuticle, smooth it all out. And of course, I'm going to do the plastic bag trick, sandwich baggie to, um, again, I don't know, I've just seen other people do this and it's kind of worked for me too, so it just kind of seals it better, especially at the tip, especially if you have short nails like she does. And you're gonna wait till it's fully cooled down before you start filing. She has these cooled down because we did them earlier. So I'm gonna start filing these. You don't have to cut them off. You don't have to do anything, but just file them off. And always, again, in a downward, downward motion. <laughs> It's so easy. And again, I was using the um, heater, my little mini heater, that is only $19. Very worth every penny. I would suggest if you really get into doing jam berries on a regular basis, it's the best way to go. I've been told to shut up to go to another room because I first started off with a blow dryer and I try to watch movies while doing this. Nobody liked that. This one's cooled down, so now I'm gonna start on this one. You can go to my website, www.melissaalonzojams dot jamberrynails.net um, to put your order in. Right now they are buy three, get one free. I don't know how long that um, promotion is gonna last. <clears throat> I'm gonna put on this other one. So take advantage now. I'm hooked. I, I've always been a I used to um, wear acrylic nails, then they just, you know, after having them for so long and shellac came out, I started doing shellac and it was letting my nails grow out and keeping my nails hard and I was kind of skeptical about doing jamberry because of that, but I went ahead and tried it out and it keeps my nails, as you can see, they're a decent size, keeps them nice and long, doesn't let them chip. So, and this is way more affordable than getting shellac. You get more uses out of this. So definitely was cost played a big factor once I was satisfied as well. This. Now if you feel like you get it on wrong, just like I did right now, don't worry, as long as your hands were um, clean of oils, when you were putting, um, on some alcohol then uh, you'll be fine and you see how hers is lifted a little bit because I had to redo it stick it back in heat stick it back in heat and seal it down if you feel like you've gotten it messed up take it off it comes right off stick it back in some heat place it right back on your finger easy peasy Make sure you get all the bubbles out. You don't want any bubbles in there. 
So I suggest using a stick that has, you know, a rubber grip so it's soft on your nails. Jamberry sells a application kit actually that has the same one if you can't find one or you just don't feel like going out and buying one while you're putting in your order. Order your application kit. It comes in a cool little bag. A jamberry little bag. We're sealing it up. How do you like your jamberries? Oh my god, I love it. Many of y'all that know my daughter know that she's a sarcastic one, but oh she really does love them. She's been begging me, when are you gonna put them on? When are you gonna put them on? <laughs> Just because she wants to make sure they go on correctly. But um, you'll be able to do it. She just is a baby. Okay. She likes me to do everything for her. Well, there. All right. So I just have her last one to put on. We'll let that cool off. So that way I can file it down. <laughs>